Hi everybody and welcome to another installment of You Do AV. Today we're my house. This is finally going to be my installation, my surround sound system. This has been something I've been hoping for for a long time. We went through a huge remodel and I finally get to tackle my installation. This has been something that we just put together temporarily so we had TV during all the construction. But now finally I get to put the speakers up in my house. Um, since this is my house, I have all of the same obstacles that you guys are going to have in your house where I'm probably going to have children running around, uh, probably have some laundry going on in the background. We're going to try to keep it as professional as we can, but this is a working house here, household here, and this is a real installation. So being that it's my house, I'm pretty familiar with what's going on, but I don't know exactly where everything is. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to do three speakers in the wall in the front. We're going to do four speakers in the ceiling for my sides, two for my sides, two for my backs. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. Step one, we need to find out where all the studs are on this wall. Now this is the ideal situation where my TV is centered on this wall. Um, we have a few rules that we need to go by when we're placing speakers. Um, but we... There's kind of a, a fine line between making my perfect sounding system and having a system that my wife will be okay looking at. So I can't just go ahead and throw speakers up wherever I want to make sure that I get perfect sound. In the end, she has to be happy with it too to make sure that it looks okay. So I need to get a good balance between sound and also presentation. So to start off, we need to figure out exactly where our studs are on the wall so we can make sure that our speakers can be placed where we want them to go. Ideally, your center speaker would go directly above or below your TV. Your front left speaker will go 30 degrees off center to the left. Your front right speaker will go 30 degrees off center to the right. Now that's in a perfect situation. I guarantee you almost nobody watching this video is going to be able to do a perfect situation. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to space out my speakers as far as I can. To me the, the center channel being directly above or below the TV is super, super, super critical. I would, for me, I would never put a center channel off center of the TV because the center channel is going to be controlling the majority of the sound. And it's going to be as if the sound were coming out of the TV. So if the sound is not lined up with the TV, it's going to throw off your brain a little bit. So to me, it's really important. In this case, we're going to go center channel below the TV. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start. I'm going to start trying to find where all my speakers are. I'm going to mark all my, uh, sorry, I'm going to start finding where all my studs are. I'm going to mark all my studs with blue tape. Once I've done that, then I can decide where all my speakers are going to go. In a perfect world, in a perfect world, speakers will be spaced about 16 inches on center apart. But you guys are going to find in your house, they're not like that. They can be less than 16, that's fine. But code says, code says 16 inches on center. Um, if you have a steel framed house, You'll probably be finding something like 24 inches on center, 20 inches on center, I think they do. There we go. That's a pretty rough idea of where all my studs are in this wall. Um, I'm not 100% positive that I have a stud behind each piece of tape. This is a stud finder. It's a really nice stud finder, but even really nice stud finders will give you false results a lot of the time. So, you know, this area here, I got, it seems like I got a lot of studs in this area, so I probably have to go back and figure out what's going on there. Um, but for the most part, this is a good start. From here, we'll uh, start taking some calculations, start figuring out where all my stuff is going to go. I'll mock it all up and uh, get right back to you.